So this month's update, February 2020, is actually coming from Manchester. I'm at the Lowry Hotel in Manchester for a CompTIA networking uh, meetup event that's taking place tonight and tomorrow. So I thought, great time, got some spare time now, I'll record the February update. February is a short month, but longer than normal, as you know, 29 days rather than the 28 that it usually is. So maybe a shorter update, maybe not. We'll find out in a second. We had a new client come on board this month, Beach Accountants. They're another accountancy firm. We've got a lot of accountancy firms with us now, more and more signing up all the time. They just love G Suite and how it integrates with Xero and all the cloud software that they're using. So Beach Accountants have signed up. They should be going live in March. So this month they'll be going live in the next week or two. So they'll be over at G Suite and using G Suite and getting rid of horrible Microsoft Office. We had a big VAT tax bill, which I always hate, but hey, it's not our money. It's money we collect on behalf of the government. But it gets bigger each time, so we must be doing something good. Another one of our accountancy clients, they had some extra G Suite training in February. So Lauren, who's our G Suite trainer, she went down to Milton Keynes, where they're based, and gave them some excellent, excellent training on zero integration with G Suite. So much so, they had actually held a copy of Excel back, but now they've completely got rid of Excel because they found out actually what they were using Excel, Excel for didn't need it, they didn't need it. It can actually be done through G Suite quicker and easier to get the data in and out of zero. So Excel has completely gone from that client. They've got no reserve copies behind and they're fully using G Suite with zero now, which is absolutely fantastic for them. It saves them loads of money because they don't need to have Microsoft Office licenses anymore and it allows them to work quicker and more efficiently because everything's in the browser. There's no software to install and keep updated. It just works really nicely all the time. And that's it for this month's roundup. Have a quick look at the view I've got at my hotel room. I get the camera to spin around. Oh, it's got face tracking turned on. Let me see if I can turn that off. There we go. So that's the a river going through Manchester. I've got no idea what the name of the river is, but I am in the centre of uh, Manchester. And to be fair, the room that I've got is pretty fancy. A bit of a junior suite kind of thing. So thanks clients for paying for this. Your, uh, your money is always spent wisely.